What does a new Acura concept and the Avengers have in common? We're gonna let you know. Also, Citroen takes a step back and builds a retro minibus, and some more details on the new BMW i3 electric vehicle, plus Hump Day Girl of the Week. What's up, everybody? I'm Derek D. You're watching Fast Lane Daily, and it happens to be Wednesday. Next generation of performance is here. Royal Purple's new high-performance street motor oil, HPS. Fortified with zinc phosphorus anti-wear protection, HPS exceeds the demands of high-performance and modified engines. Magnified, HPS improves metal surfaces for longer engine life. HPS's high film strength frees up more power, reduces heat and wear, plus provides greater protection. The next generation of performance is here with HPS from Royal Purple, the performance oil that outperforms. Next summer, a little movie called The Avengers is coming out. As a Marvel Comics film, the movie will feature characters and faces that you all probably recognize. Iron Man Tony Stark, Samuel Jackson as Nick Fury, and a few other notable names. But did you know that Acura is now the official sponsor of the Marvel film series? No? Well, I'm telling you. When The Avengers comes out next summer, you'll be seeing a lot of Acura product placement on the big screen. And what do you know it, Tony Stark has given up his Audi R8 for an Acura concept car, one we've actually never seen. These shots taken from the set of the new movie show Robert Downey Jr. getting into the new whip. Now let's be honest, Acura has kind of gone in the for the past few years with nearly every new vehicle easily being forgotten about. But this thing, hey, I like it. Could this save Acura? What do you internet people think? You like it? You love it? You hate it? You don't give a shit? Whichever, let us know in the comments. And with most car manufacturers concentrating only on the driving experience, it's nice to know that at least one is looking to raise the bar in passenger comfort. Citroen looks to kick the passenger experience up a notch with the debut of the Tubic. This piggy nose transport vehicle will be able to sit nine comfortably, that's nine people, with varying interior configurations based on the owner's preference. Now it's too early to say for certain what the interior will look like, but rest assured, it'll come with a load of high tech. Without going into too much detail, this Citroen is intelligent and eco-friendly. And according to Top Gear, the Tubic uses PSA's hybrid 4 system, with a 160 brake horsepower 2.0 liter diesel engine up front, and the battery slash electric motor generating another 37 brake horsepower out the back. And I have no idea what any of that means, but I can tell you that pigs don't fly, but they do taste really good. And all I can say is that this looks like a perfect vehicle for potheads. I mean, it does, you know? Actually, you know who needs a new car? Matt Farah. Hey Matt, ditch the Raptor, get yourself one of these. Yeah. You know, why not? Yeah. What's up, Matt? And news on the new BMW i3. The first mass-produced electric vehicle from BMW due out in two years. According to BMW CEO Norbert Reithofer, the new city car will be priced below the 5 Series and below the $43,000 Euro Opel Ampera. That means we could see the i3 here stateside priced below the Chevy Volt. That's pretty amazing considering the amount of carbon fiber expected to be used in the new i-branded cars. It's also been announced that the new i3 will be produced at BMW's Leipzig plant. So far, we're still waiting to hear what new patents BMW has to reveal with the new i-brand. It's been hinted that BMW has been working on a new technique of integrating carbon fiber into different types of cheaper plastics. So, eager to see what they're going to do with that. Ian, what do you think today is? It's not my birthday. It's not your birthday. Wednesday. It's, I mean, it is Wednesday, but that comes Oh, there it is. It's, it's Wednesday. Wednesday. Oh, that was it? It's Hump Day Girl of the Week, and bam! Here's a hot chick in a Bengals jersey. It's actually Hump Day Girls of the Week. In honor of football starting this Sunday, here's a bunch of chicks just wearing football jerseys. Very nice. Oh, and there we go. Got a chick in a Giants jersey. And boy, does she have a very nice tookus. It's over there. I'm not gonna slap it today. Go Giants. Well, that'll do it for Fastlane Daily today. I'm Derek D. You guys have a lovely rest of the week. And, um, you know, say hi to your mother for me. Tony Stark, Samuel Jackson as Nick Ferry. Fury, Boy, iron. passenger comfort. Citroen looks to kick up the passenger experience up a notch. Citroen looks to kick the passenger experience up a notch with the debut of the new Tubic. 
Am I saying that right? Yeah. It's Tubic? I guess. Hell, it's just, it wouldn't be Tubic. Ow, we're living in.